Hey guys, RLC321, I'm back again. Yes, I know, it's been a long time and I do apologise. Um, I wanted to, to I'm, 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 I am back. And I'm going to be making regular video updates. Um, this is going to serve two purposes. One, it's going to be an explanation as to why I stopped for a little bit doing things. And two, the continuation of all of my projects that are going to be still going on. But I just wanted to, you know, talk to you about a few things, first of all. And one of the main things, <clears throat> most of you know I, I was unemployed for a little while. And you would think that being unemployed, I think it was about four or five months I was unemployed, that being un unemployed for that long, you would think, oh, do you know what, it's got loads of time to build model kits and things like that. And I was, I was, I was doing the model kits, I was doing the, the videos. But then, when uh, you know, I was applying for jobs and going for interviews and being knocked back and things like that, and and it, in the end, it just got to me, and I didn't have the heart to continue doing the model kits. So I decided to just have a little bit of a break. That's what I decided to do: just have a bit of a break, and then I can come back and get started. So now that's out of the way. And obviously my apologies for not up updating the models and, and, and things like that, which I will be doing. I will be doing videos and bringing them out when and when needed. But I thought, you know, for a new start, let's put in something new as well that I'm also going to be doing on top of every, every bloody thing else as well. Because <laughs> you, you, know, you know me, I, I, just, I, like, I can't just stand just doing the one. So I actually purchased this one off of wish.com. Okay. Oh, Wish, the the app, Wish. I think everybody's known, everybody knows what Wish is. And it was, a, I was lucky enough to get it for, I think it was twelve ninety nine postage. Because the, the, it was free, but I had to, obviously had to pay the postage. And it was coming from China, and it took about a month and a half to get, get here. And I was thinking, do you know what, I'm going to do an unboxing. Yes. Thought, yeah, I'll do an unbox as soon as it arrives. I'll do an unboxing. That'll be the start of my new video series. And blah 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 blah. No, no, no. That's not going to work. I will show you why. We're not going to do an unboxing. We're going to do an unbagging. <laughs> it came. There was a, a, a plastic covering. Uh, like a the, the the postage packing that was grey that came with this and I mean I just I did cut some bits open just so I can get access to things just to make sure there's nothing broken so I haven't really fully opened it up yet I mean the chocolate is I don't have a box to put this in any now either so I can't even store it away so I'm gonna have to build it god isn't it oh, shocking so I thought I'd let you know what it is it's this it's the Blade, Le Blade Leaguer AB Bang version. It's made by a company called Black Knight. Yep, Black Knight. Now, I do believe... I mean, this is a Zoid, in case you hadn't noticed that. I do believe this is a knockoff. Because I, I think Zoids are mainly made by Kotobukuya. I think, but don't, don't quote me on that. I'm not 100% sure. But this is from a company called Black Knight, and it, it was free except for the postage. So I thought, sod it, why not? I was, as I say, kind of hoping it was in a in a box. But we'll go through the manual after we have a look at the bits, the bits, the bits. We've got to have a look at the bits. Right, so let's put that there. So let's look at the bits. Um, I think the best thing to do is to just get them out and then have a look at them one by one, so I can put them all back in afterwards. Quite a few bits. Yeah, there we go. That's all the bits. Okay, let's move some stuff out of the way as well, just so I've got a bit more room here. Right, so I think we will start with this little baggy, this little baggy right here. Yes, this little baggy went to market. Now, 
I'm gonna have to open this because I've, I've seen something. I've seen it's. I don't know. It's it's not quite white. <laughs> There we go, there we go, that's it, there we go. I mean, I, I, even though it came packaged as it is, it isn't damaged, luckily, because if it was damaged, I would have gone back to them and got something back. But this isn't white. It's almost like a pearlescent kind of colour. Out, out, no, 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 get your king, king, king thing. Yes, it's definitely a, a, I don't know if you can see that. Where are you? Look, there. It's got like a, a pearlescent sheen to it. Which, because I was going to paint it white, but I've got some, some of that uh, pearlescent stuff anyway, so I'm, I'm still going to paint it. But it's white. I didn't like It's pearlescent, sorry, not white. So, that, I mean, the, the detail on it looks quite good. There doesn't seem to be a lot of flash on here either. Um, which I'm quite pleased about. I mean, I also also will go in to show you how to put these together so you you can easily pull them apart again in, when you need to paint them. Um, but that looks to be that's supposed to be up that way. There we go. That's not quite right, but that's fine. And then we got some gold bits, as you can see there. It does look really nice, though. I have to admit. Some of the detail on this is really nice. You've got some really deep panel lines, which is good. You've got some springs in here, and then we've got the... I think this is like a soul ball or something for them. Because they're, I think in Zoids, they're, they're half um, animal... Uh, well, they're, they're mostly robots, but they've got a soul of an animal or something like that. I'm not 100% sure. And this is stuck. There we go, some more pearlescent bits. And you should, I don't know if you can see the pearlescent too well. Because of the, yeah, you can, you can see it glowy. It's a little bit of a nasty there, but I think that's where it was pointing this. I mean, one of the reasons why I'm gonna be painting it is to hide any nasties. But the level of detail is pretty darn good, I have to admit. And for a knockoff, I'm impressed with it a little bit. That's pretty darn good there. And then we've got some more. I think these are going to be like your inner parts. Right there. But as again, there's detail on the inner parts and as well. So it's going to be quite fun to build this, this little bad boy. It really is. So put you there. Prompt you there. And then we sh watch me struggle trying to get this. We're not going to watch me struggle trying to get that back in. No, we're not. No. Nope. Right, I don't think I'm going to take every single bit out of the bag. I wanted to do that one because it, it had that pearlescent shine to it. And I wanted to make sure it was pearlescent. So and that's why I did that. But again, just looking at this. Uh, this is some of the inner dump gubbins. Oh, I'm hitting the microphone. Uh, the, the detail on them is really, really nice. You know, obviously we've got your, we've got some old grey bits. Also, got two or three trays of grey bits in here. Some silvery kind of bits as well. And luckily, no broken bits. So that's good. Here, got some more grey bits, some more pearly, pearly bits, some red, and some more of that brownish colour. Oh, we got a piece broken off of the tree, but it still doesn't look too bad. Doesn't look like there's any pieces broken, broken. There's the um, decal sheet just in there as well. But no, look, looking at it, I mean, I think it looks. Really good, and I think it's going to be a fairly decent model once it's built and painted. Oh, there's even a pilot here. Uh, let's get it up oh, there. There we go. There, we look at his asshole there. Look, let's see, he's got a little hole in his arse, so I'm guessing that's his asshole. 
But yeah, we've got a little pilot figure as well. Awesome sauce. And here we've got some more little bits. We've got some poly caps there. Some clear parts, some more gold bits, some more of that brownie, horrible colour thing. Some more poly caps, some more red bits. It's, it does look pretty darn good. I have to admit. For a knockoff, I mean, I've seen some knockoffs and they look crap. When you when you first open them up and you actually take a look at them, you think, oh, why did I spend money on that? I was starting a series of, I'll buy it so you don't have to. And I've got on there, um, I've only got one at the minute. There's a couple of videos I still haven't sorted out yet. But, oh, what is it called? The Gundam Strike Noir. Now, I've got two versions. I've got um, a TT Hongi one, which is on that I, I buy it so you don't have to. And I've got the uh, Jagamomoko version. Always go for the Jagamomoko version. Jagamomoko, I found, are absolutely brilliant. I cannot fault them. They're, they're sometimes a little bit difficult to put them in, putting them together and that, but that's it's a knockoff, what do you expect? But also, Jagamomoko changed things. So it's not exactly what was originally put out. So, and and the, 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 the quality is actually not too bad. And the, the, the Dragon Momoko kit looks so much better compared to the TT Hongli. Okay. So, uh, that's all I'm saying. So, there, I'm starting to do a series there where I build it so you don't have to have a little look at some of the horrible stuff that's out there. And don't waste time on really, really bad stuff. And again, we've got two different colour greys in here. We've got like this lighter grey stuff that we've already seen before. And a... Greenish grey, for want of a better word. I don't know what that's all about. But yeah, okay, so that's the pretty much the part. So, say, I'm not going to take them all out of the bags. Because we'll be here for forever and I'm never going to get them back in again. And I've got nowhere to store them and I don't want to lose pieces. So, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Right, so, let's have a look at this this shall we no, I'm not entirely sure how we're gonna do this because it's, you're gonna see things at, a, at an angle but that, that can't be helped really so we have English and Chinese is it Chinese is Black Knight Chinese I don't know I don't know if Black Knight's Chinese or I'm not but anyway you got some kind of language and then you got English as well which is good which is, is which is actually quite good it's good nice to actually do things like that you know. and then you got uh, the picture here telling you all the parts are shield generators etc um, in theory oh I wonder if you get this little guy as well there's a, there's a little dude just down here I wonder if you get him as well. That would be awesome if you did. I really would. Some drawings of the head and that. Some more drawings of the body, mechanics and all of everything. Of the actual robot from the anime, I'm guessing. And his weapon system. And this is all the parts that you get. So we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one twenty two twenty three twenty four twenty five twenty six twenty seven twenty eight twenty nine thirty thirty one thirty two thirty three thirty four thirty five thirty six thirty seven thirty eight thirty nine forty forty one forty two forty three forty four forty four trees or sprues that's a lot that, that that that's a lot that's a lot and i can't see any x's where things are not being used so it looks like we're going to be pretty much using everything that's in here okay awesome right let me go into the assembly it starts off with the head you can't really see that 
starts off with the head, the head unit, and obviously it carries on. Then we go on to the chest unit. There's just so much involved in it. It's unreal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to enjoy this. I think everyone's going to enjoy this. This is looking good. And then it goes on to the waste unit. And then assembling the waste unit. Then it goes on to the beam edge, beam pulse cannon assembly. And then it goes on to assault thrusters. Then assembly leg unit one. But obviously it's time some of them are times four because they're gonna repeat themselves like the claws and things like that. And then a, a assembly of leg unit two. Okay. And leg unit three. Uh, where's four? Leg unit one, leg unit two. Leg unit three, unless one of them is doubled up, which is probably the case. Ah, yes. Yeah, so here, I think this is the back of the rear leg, and it's going to be times two, pretty much. And then, obviously, putting it all all together, the you can move some of the parts around as well, which is. Pretty darn good. And then we're back to some more mechanical drawings. And then we got onto the painting of it. I mean, it says just paint or pearl grey. A mix of white, co cobalt blue, and pearl grey for the whitest areas. But I think we could, we could do something different with that. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, you got carmine orange, white, and neutral. Well, neutral? What colour is neutral? 3% neutral. I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Here, look, here we go. Right there. 3% neutral. What's neutral colour? Okay. Anyway. Peach. 10% peach. Yep, yep look, it, it, it says it. 10% peach. Right there. So they're just some of the, the colours. And I am also guessing here we've got some of the decal placements as well. And some more colour guide and decal placements. Colour guide, decal placements, etc. etc. And then we've got uh, the view of what the assembled model should look. It's going to look kick ass. It's going to look. Yes, it really is. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I, I'm looking forward to it. As I say, I haven't. It's been a few months since I've built a model, but but now I. Don't, by the way, yeah, because I was unemployed, I'm no longer unemployed. I have a job. Yes. Three month probation actually finished. I'm now officially a permanent member of staff there as well. So I am absolutely overjoyed. Yes. It feels damned good. I tell you, it feels damn good to be able to be working again and earning some money. Right, so, <clears throat> guys, that's the Blade Leaguer AB Bang version from Black Knight. It's a 172 scale full action plastic model kit. So, in other words, I don't know how big this is going to be or not. I really don't. I do not know in the slightest. Because it doesn't tell you how big it's going to be. But um, I guess, I'm going to say, it's probably going to be about roughly this big and about that high. Where, uh, no, you can't even see the high. Um, back it up. No, no. So, right, let's go here. Right, so, it's, I think it's going to be about that high. And probably about that, that big. That, that's, that's what I think. I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, I know it's not very often I'm, I'm wrong, <coughs> even though I'm wrong a lot of the times. But anyway, <coughs> I'm going to say thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this small little video, and, the, and I hope you forgive me for lack of videos. But as I say, from now on, they'll be coming quite regular. I'm not going to pin myself down to a time, because sometimes when I get home from work, I'm absolutely knackered. 
So I'm going to be shooting for pretty much the weekends that I'll be doing videos and posting videos up. Because it's not only the doing the videos, I've then got to edit any crap that's in it or anything like that and then post it and, and everything like that. <clears throat> so, without further ado, I'm going to say thank you very much for watching guys. This is RLC321 saying... Goodbye, I hope you have a good evening, and I will see you in the next video, which I don't know what it will be just yet. But, it will be soon. It'll probably be tomorrow, there will be another video. I don't know where I'm going to be doing, I might do a couple of videos tomorrow. This, um, continue you with uh, Night Rider and continue with um, Ecto-1. I think that's what I'll be continuing with. Okay guys, so, I will see you tomorrow. In the next videos, you take care of yourselves. Bye-bye now.